do I'm not as efficient maybe as you. You will let. But I'll let. Mm. This is not funny. Whoever took it, all the best. Maybe someone is on a secret task. So guys, I mean, last night was full of drama. <laughs> For literally, like, well, she was literally vivid over her missing traditional clothes. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, in this video I'm gonna be taking four things. I'm gonna be talking about who missing her traditional clothes. I'm gonna be talking about I'm gonna be talking about the drama Tato and Gashon and Tato's love affair. There might be a fight coming up very soon from Gashon and Temba because Gashon has been telling us about it. And um PU of course a lot more guys literally right now there's so much to talk about now we're going to be talking about you guys the biggest ship in the house the latest ship in the house the love couple in the house Gashon and Tato we're going to be talking about their relationship both in the house and outside the house but guys I'm going to be giving you some inside gist but that will be later on in this video to get the best you guys subscribe by clicking on the red icon right now and then you guys do not forget to turn on the post notification bell at this, as this will also um, help you know whenever I share new content guys with that said let me take this conversation right um, the way I should take it so I'm gonna be talking about the reactions this housemates have been having over some of their missing items Mpo literally was livid last night Mpo was livid she was so angry she said a lot of things it was quite it was quite a dramatic night uh, you know at the end of the day there were so many insinuations Themba said things like um, that um, okay Mpo said something like maybe the person is going to come and flex the as in come and chill with the cloth in the garden and Demba was like how would somebody steal something and come and use it I mean you guys they are not they are not ready anyway Mpo also insinuated that probably Biggie has sent somebody to um, on a secret task I mean she actually literally said echo the same thing that they had said so guys literally i don't think they're going to be blaming each other too much with this um stealing or missing item pranks i think they're going to be like okay this is biggie playing your prank on us and probably they'll just move on <laughs> we hope it doesn't result to a fight but if it results to a fight you guys this is a gist we signed up for in the house so it was quite um hilarious to just watch Mpo, like talk about it rant about it keep quiet and then go back to the conversation again like she literally talked about it for like close to an hour so it was clear that like Libo knew the assignment and he delivered on the assignment. I mean, that's so interesting. You guys, I can't even wait for more epic responses from this housemates when they discover that some of their missing items are missing. And guys, especially Themba. Themba is busy in the HOH lounge. He doesn't know what's up because his picture, his beloved picture, is missing. <laughs> okay, guys, away from that. Um, I'd like to tell you guys about this really um the things that are happening. You know, especially with Tato and Gashwan, you guys, these guys have been sending us, apart from the low vibes now, there's been some level of understanding, maturity emanating from both Gashwan and Tato. And, you know, Tato was like, you know, I'm not the affectionate type, um, you know, you are more of the affectionate type, but I'm going to learn. You know, and Gashwan was like, yeah, you learn. And then, you know, we just kissed and they made up and that was it. And then, guys, afterwards in the day, we actually heard, um, you know, Tato ask questions about how do people in the house perceive her, what her kind of person is. And, you know, when she was asking that question, Gashon literally told her that, you know, her person is this kind of person who's really focused on making sure they deliver tasks. And she was like, yes. And then she talked about her truth, guys. Now, this is where I want this conversation to actually stretch. Now, when Tato was talking about her truth, you guys, listen up to what Tato insinuated to be her truth. If I'm not doing a task, where am I? You're with me. Exactly, and who else? You mm. or no me? That's been my truth. Now, guys, from this statement from Tato, you can tell that her world in Biggie's house evolved around this four people, those three people rather, um, um, Yoli, Norman, and Gashron. You guys, from the very beginning, like these three people have been like the her rock, her world. And guys, at that point, when Tato was talking about her commitment to Yoli, you know, and this and that, guys, I don't know, but for some reason, I decided to just check, check, just do some rechecks, just go and see if this feeling is actually mutual. Um, this feeling that we're sensing from Tato, if it was really mutual with Yoli. And guys, like I've been sharing um, earlier content about how Yuli has been reacting to the romance between Gashon and Tato and guys with everything I'm saying it is very very clear that Yuli is really mad at this two couple she is not she's not excited with this couple um and so this is there's this post that has been going viral on social media um I think you guys need to read this up a bit and 
see if you understand it. And maybe if you guys understand it, maybe we might understand what those two people are going to be facing out there in the real world when they're done with this, their love play and fairy tale story in the house. So seriously, from this post, um, you all, I don't know, I've been trying to look for Yoli's live session where that question was actually asked, but I couldn't find it. But it's just me trying to make sure I'm keeping up with the content that is going on. Um, so you guys, what do you guys really think? Do you think Yoli is really mad at Thato? Because you guys, Yoli and Thato were an item in the house even you know, before um, this gas one thing became an item between the two of them. Like, they shared moments. And, you know, these two people, like, shared the same zoology or something like that, you know, the same birth month. And so, they like, they have the same personality and all that kind of thing. But, of course, we know that Tato has a very strong personality. So, this is just me being curious and saying... Um, why is Yoli having a problem with Tato? Because, okay, maybe she doesn't have a problem with that. Maybe she has a problem with the both of them, both Tato and Gashon. And for some reason, I think I probably would understand her pain when it comes to the fact that, okay, she feels like she, um, Gashon used him, used her rather, to get to the spotlight, you know, and then probably messed up her game. Maybe, you know, there's something about this housemates when they're in the, uh, in the big, in Biggie's house and when they're in the outside world. When they're in the outside world, they actually get influenced by a lot of things, fans saying things, people suggesting things, people insinuating things i don't know but for some reason i'm just suddenly beginning to see yoli in a different limelight i mean ever since she left the house it just looks like yoli is suddenly becoming that very bitter person um she's just bitter towards gashwan and thato i'm just sensing it right guys i i I, because from the earlier tweets she has done the earlier messages she has sent on instagram from the earlier conversations she's had on her instagram lives you know unfortunately i've not been able to actually pick this moment to share them here but i know i've shared one or two posts on, on some of my previous videos. Guys, do you really think that Yoli should be stressing with this whole ship thing? Like, do you really think Yoli should be beefing Tato and Gashwan? I mean, maybe she should beef Gashwan, but I don't think she should be extending that hate to Tato because they've been friends. And see, guys, legit, if you guys don't know the story, the story is that Gashwan has always been asking Tato out. Tato has been the first woman that Gashon has been asking out. Okay, Yuli was like second option. And when Gashon asked Yuli out, Yuli actually spoke to Tato about it. So this kind of tells us that these two people have been very close. So I'm really wondering, I'm just, I can't really get my head around why Yuli is probably not sending her blessings. Well, we understand her. She has a reason to have whatever sentiment she has right now. Guys, moving forward, I mean, there's also a lot of intels from the outside world about Biggie's kids. Um, you guys, this um, evicted housemates are really looks like they're doing well. They've been bonding together. Um, we've seen so many hangouts, pictures, videos, you know, all this ex um housemates evicted housemates um and guys some of the things that they've been sharing actually caught my attention and i'm not gonna lie um this video and this pictures of bu and yoli like kind of gladden it's written to my heart i mean i don't know but for some reason i just wish the ship had sailed properly without the venus drama without the acacia drama but you guys you know what it is i don't know if bu is going to ever get back to venus i mean what do you guys think about the bu drama with the girls i mean because right now if you don't know it i'm gonna be spilling it to you um bu has been signing some very amazing um deals and but one of the biggest deals that bu has signed up right now is um his his uh, recent um signing with em you know music group um this is a recording label this is the first recording label deal he has ever signed and we're really so excited about it i mean on god i mean i need to tell you guys that this guy is a musician he actually showed his talents while he was in the house of course we know he's going to be the big star in the house when we compare him with the other guys in the house i mean yeah the other guys are gonna have but he's on his own lane and he's been hanging out with most of the females in the house we've seen him hang out with acacia i mean right now you guys i hope you guys now understand why acacia i really had to cry for bu i don't know but this is like i just felt like i needed to share this um content about what's happening with bu and the outside world and how the ladies are all you know roaming around him let me just put it that way so i'm just here thinking um why is bu and yuli not shooting their shot because i think these two still like themselves and i think they bond very well and the other question is why is yuli really mad at tattoo and cash one okay tattoo now not cash one he she has a reason to you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section there's so much drama in the house these guys are working on their 
a weekly wager task is going to be crazy. I mean, I can't wait for that storytelling part because I'm definitely going to be paying attention. And of course, I'll be back here to share um, more about it. You guys, um, they were supposed to have a camp night last night, but they couldn't because it rained. So they had to go to bed early. I mean, most of these housemates were clearly like tired. I mean, we saw people like um, Libo dozing while they were having their normal um sessions do you know like they were literally all tired so there was really no huge thing that happened last night but it was just the epic scenery of you know Bo reacting to the fact that her traditional clothes had been stolen anyways we hope to see more drama in the house and you guys i'll be back here to give you guys more you updates guys on what's up in biggie's house you guys <sighs> you guys it was a lot last night thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see you all in another video for now for now you guys, be good to yourself. And of course, ciao, ciao.